Fathers of Reddit, what is the worst boyfriend your daughters have brought home who made you say, that guy, really, who did you just not like, and why? I was that girl who brought the bad boyfriend home. He was a German exchange student, and I was at an age where all that mattered was the sexy accent. My stepdad, who worked for the government, did a background check on him because he felt like something was off. I feel like he did background checks on all my boyfriends, but that's a different story. We find out his student visa expired last year and he's in the country illegally. He reports him to his superior. My stepdad gets my boyfriend deported. End of relationship. I'm Hispanic and used to have a temper as a teen. Met a girl who seemed to like me, but always tried encouraging me to do stupid shit. Let's race those guys. Woman no. I love this car. I ain't risking it. For some reason she wanted me to meet her cop dad. So I did. We hit it off over a mutual love of motorcycles and rush music. And he invited me to a BBQ. The girl hated that her dad loved me. Apparently she wanted him to hate me. She dumped me the next day. I really wanted that BBQ. This one time my daughter came home, and the guy was literally carrying her in his arms when he opened the door. Didn't knock or anything. He also had the arms of another chick around his waist asterisk. I couldn't believe my eyes at tenacity and just utter PDAs in front of me. He gave the one girl on his left a kiss, then put my daughter down and kissed her as well. I didn't know what else to really say at the time, except thanks for bringing her home. And we'll see you at dinner next Wednesday. My daughter then ran up to me and gave me a hug and sat on my lap and told me what they did that day. I sat there in silence just trying to understand it all. After about 2 minutes of this, I told her it was time to go upstairs, that it was bedtime. She cried about it, but I explained to her that 8 o'clock is really late for a 2 year old to stay up and she will see her uncle next week when they come for dinner. Asterisk daughter here my dad is a drug cop and i brought a boy home my dad pulled me aside and said you're too old for me to tell you what to do but i interrogated that boy a few months ago and all he did was play the air guitar the whole time i continued to date him for a few months then it ended he rocked that air guitar though my daughter age 16 at the time i think once brought home a trailer park hero blank glassy eyes a dead fish handshake and a mouth that just hung open all the time, Aka catching flies. He never wanted to go anywhere or do anything, just wanted her to come to his trailer, uh, house, obviously to fool around. I attempted to be polite and speak to the young man, but he could only vaguely nod and answer in monosyllables and excused himself to leave quickly. The moment he did, I simply looked at her and asked really? Fortunately, it only lasted another couple of days after that. One kid she brought home ended up being a stalker then ended up sneaking into our home at 4am after they had broke up. He and I had a short, severely unpleasant little chat. Threats of severe injury may have been discussed. He never showed his face again. Daughter and I were both happy with the outcome. I'm a daughter who brought home an idiot. He was terrified of my parents because he was an atheist and my parents are Christian. Before he even met them, he'd get drunk and ramble about giving them the what for, if they tried to convert him, yes, I pick winners. My dad is a gentle bear of man and my mum is a little lady. They're an older couple and the nicest people I've ever met. He projectile vomited in the restaurant bathroom before he sat down to eat with everyone for their first meeting. When I moved in with him, he insisted on getting a buzz on before they would visit. When I got really sick, I asked him to take me to the clinic. He declined in favor of banged practice. My dad ended up driving down to make sure I was okay and even cooked me breakfast. When he dumped me, because yes, I was too stupid to do it myself, I called my dad crying my head off. He listened to me rant for a few minutes and then said quietly, at least you didn't get pregnant. I will always be grateful for that. Apostrophe. My daughter had dated a string of some real good kids who had good heads on their shoulders, good prospects for success in life, but dumped each one as just not what she was looking for. She then went through what her two older brothers liked to call the bum of the month club, each one she brought home, to meet me even worse than the last. I was at the point of telling her that she needed to reassess her standards upwards a tad before she really found a true loser who would end up hurting her. She found him. 
It was bad. She came around. In the end it was his ass getting hurt. However, he thought he was a tough guy and tried to physically harm my daughter after she tried to tell him it was over, which was a huge mistake on his part. This kid was 6 feet 1 inch and 185, wore whiffer beaters, backwards hat and droopy drawers and thought he was a tough guy. White suburban punk, you've seen them. My daughter was a 4 sport athlete her entire school career and had her college education covered by an athletic scholarship. When he showed up at a party she was at even with a restraining order against him and grabbed her arm and wouldn't let go. She hit him so hard flush on the side of the jaw that it tore his left earlobe off of his head, chipped three teeth while putting a hole through his cheek in the process and knocked him clean out with one punch. It was a good thing there were witnesses as she was arrested for aggravated assault when they had to call the squad to take the kid to the air to patch his ass back together. The charges were dropped. Soon after I got home early that Sunday morning, her brother pulled into the drive after picking my daughter up at the local PD. Her white blouse was brown with a splotchy stains of dried blood. The first thing she said to me was, don't worry, dad, none of it's mine. My little girl. Mercenary hearted little blue eyed blonde. My sister in law brought a guy over to our house who was actually retarded. She was 25 years old and brings this guy over and before she does she says, I really like him, he's simple, we talk about nice everyday stuff and he makes me feel smart and beautiful. Then you meet him and damn fucking right he's simple, he's actually retarded. I'm not getting down on retarded guys, in fact, she was decently hot I guess so good for him for hitting that, but she didn't fucking realize he was retarded. He was nice enough to us and we were nice back. Then a few weeks later she tells us she dumped him. We ask why, and she says, I think the painkillers I was taking for my shoulder really messed me up. I didn't realize how stupid he was all that time. Now that I'm off them, I just couldn't stand to be around him. She never once said the word retard, bless her soul. I brought home the moron. He was a pothead who chain smoked. Whenever my dad or mom would check up on us, as parents do, he would yell at them to give us our privacy. He started talking about having kids with me and told my mom that he had been poking holes in rubbers. She went redneck on him right then and there. To this day, my family calls any stupid behavior pulling her, insert ex's name here. I'm the daughter who brought home the losers. When I was 16 I met this cute guy in school and we'd only hung out a few times. We liked each other, but didn't really know each other that well, but I brought him home to meet my parents anyway and it immediately went downhill. My parents tried to make small talk with him, and one of the first things he told them was that he was bipolar and schizophrenic, had severe ad, and once stabbed a pencil through his hand on a dare. But it didn't hurt haha, and kept referring to his mom as that bitch. And just a bunch of other bizarre stuff you don't tell the parents of the girl you like. He had never told me any of that stuff before, nor did he act strange either, so I was blindsided. My dad, who has never had much of a filter, said okay pal this isn't happening. You can go on ahead or leave the same way you came in. I was mortified, but secretly relieved my dad asked him to leave. The only other interaction I had with that kid was 4 or 5 months later, when he started dating some other girl and we were sitting in class one day and he leaned over and asked me can a girl get pregnant from giving a blowjob? Fasipum. My beautiful, brilliant, scholarship winning daughter fell in love with a homeless heroin addict in Portland, or about 10 years her senior. Not too much later, my daughter was also a homeless drug addict in Portland, and he was in jail. We are now 5 months into rehab slash sobriety, but she still pines for this piece of shit. WTF did I do wrong? I don't know if this fits the question, because she never brought him to my home. I was the black guy most of the white girls in my high school dated. I was on the debate team and a mathlete, also did track. All the fathers were suspicious of me, because I didn't like basketball. My sister's boyfriends have been consistently pretty stand-up guys post high school, but she exclusively dated women for about 10 years and brought home some real winners. Andy, the reformed meth cook with a rap sheet a mile long, asked me to buy her sudaft when she had a cold because she couldn't. Real grade a girlfriend material. First person I'd call if I was in fear of getting my ass beat by a gang of truckers though, she was the largest and scariest man 
to ever be born with a uterus. Martha, the former cult member, her parents fault, not her she was like 5 when they joined, but she was a little loopy from it, and reformed crackhead. My sister married her during one of the brief periods, when gay marriage was legal in cap, and we all flew out to attend. Great wedding and reception. Divorced a year later. You know that joke about a guy, being so bad in bed he turns women gay? Martha was so bad at being a spouse she sent my sister running back to the ranks of the hetero-leaning bisexuals. Her current boyfriend is super nice, easy to get along with, and a really good dad. He also used to work at a brewery, and is very beer knowledgeable, which is awesome. Bonus, I will probably never have to come over to my sister's house um to tell him to leave, since it's exceedingly unlikely he'll go on a crack binge, and start pounding on her door at 2am. I appreciate that about him. I'm not a father, but I have a good story about this. My sister dated a guy through most of high school. He was nice enough, headed to the military, and eventually my sister decided to split with after a year or two in college. He was obsessed with my sister, and they had a big fight, but she stuck to her guns, and said they were done. In the middle of the night, he drove drunk over to our house, pulled his truck up next to the garage, climbed up his truck onto the roof of the garage, pulling off the gutter in the process, carefully climbed his way to my sister's window and knocked. It terrified her, she ran over to my mother's room, my dad was working at the hospital overnight, and my mom answered the window. He was in serious trouble, my mom gently told him to get down from the roof, took his keys, and made his friend come drive him home. I've never seen my dad that angry, but he never got to say anything to the guy, because my dad wasn't a confrontational person. If he were there though, when the guy climbed the roof, and scared my sister, I'm fairly sure he would have murdered him daughter here. My dad is a retired US Army major, and I once brought home a guy who closely resembled a gorilla. Don't ask me, I was 16, and I was in love. My father took this poor primate into his office, interrogated him for about an hour before our date. We say goodbye, and as we're leaving out the front door to finally go, my dad hands my BF a banana, and tells him to eat it, if he gets cranky on our date. BF shrugs and doesn't get it. My dad chuckles, and I give Poppy old death stare. My father continued to hand this kid a banana every time we went out together. The kid never got the joke and I never told him. Eventually, I just got too embarrassed to even bring the kid around anymore. My dad still brings it up. And that kid still looks like he got a lead role in Tarzan, the musical. My stepdad rarely liked any of my boyfriends. He tells me now it's because he was never prepared for me to grow up and him have to deal with it. But one guy definitely takes the cake. He was getting kicked out of his house he was living in. We'd been hanging out, not even dating, for a week and I really ended up not being that interested because he was terrible and obsessive. Well he goes up to my stepdad while I'm upstairs and tells him he should really let him live there because he was nowhere else to go. My stepdad laughs and tells him no way. The guy runs out of our house, slams our front door and starts walking down the road. My stepdad for sure chased him down and informed him if he ever thought to slam his door in his house ever again he'd be a dead man walking. Thankfully that got rid of mister. I'm a drifter. Come to think of it, I can't think of a single boyfriend he's liked off the bat. I was the opposite of these guys. My ex's families loved me. In high school I often dated girls from low income families. I would come over in nice clothes, had a full vocabulary, and was genuinely a decent guy to them. Had one mom ask me to marry her daughter, and was completely serious, she even got mad at my ex, when we broke up and apparently still complains about her husband, because has not as good as adversuous salt, me and my ex still keep in touch, her husband hates me, because of the comparisons. I felt really bad, because the only reason I dated these girls is, because they were super easy. They thought I was the stand-up fellow, but the things I did to their daughters, when they weren't around. Not a father, but I brought home one my entire family hated, specifically my father. He was a long-haired, skateboarding hippie with a terrible mustache typical 17-year-old teen. My father hated everything about him. He was too polite for how he looked. His hair was too long. His pants had holes in them. The works. But mustache happy didn't give up easily, and slowly won them over one by one. 
my brother was easy, sisters not so much, and my father eventually came to love him. Now he works for their family business, and is set to take it over with my brother when they retire. I guess the point of this ramble is to not judge your daughter's boyfriends too harshly too fast. Sometimes teenagers just look dumb as hell. They'll grow out of it.